Watch. The idea of rock stars wearing makeup and cross-dressing seemed to appeal to the British with their tradition of pantomime theatre. What perhaps was more surprising was how much it also appealed to a teenage and largely female audience. But there was one British star who had already started experimenting with much the same look. Mark Bolan had previously been a hippie of the most traditional sort with his band Tyrannosaurus Rex. Now he shortened the name to T-Rex and began to develop a much tougher, more guitar-based sound that was perfect for a three-minute single. Here we go. <laughs> Don't spew on me, Bolan. <laughs> With him behind the board? With him. <laughs> Both those cats up there were on bright white swan. Hey. Number two in the Fab 40. Yeah. Leave it in. <laughs> she's my woman of gold. She's not very old. Now, a big part of the T-Rex sound was the repeat echo. We didn't have many special effects, but we had repeat echo, which is the voice being repeated about 100 milliseconds immediately after it's sung. I don't mean to be bold, but me, I hold your hand. Now that sound's been around since Elvis's day. Okay, Flo and Eddie. You remember that bit? And of course there were drums on the record. And Mark's rhythm guitar. Now this guitar was live. It wasn't a so-called scratch guitar, which nowadays everybody records a scratch guitar and then it's wiped and they put on a nice slick guitar. The nice thing about T-Rex records was that they weren't slick. She ain't no witch and I love the way she twitch, uh -huh. The band began to get a large teenage following from their television appearances. He started dressing up in these outrageous clothes, he started wearing eye makeup. I thought it was okay for the stage, but in the recording studio? <laughs> and I said, our, our man Mark here is getting uh, really going for it now, this new look. And it was a pretty courageous thing to do. People were still wearing jeans and had very, very long hair, and uh, Mark didn't get the approval, approval of everybody. I'm, I'm sure he was being called puff left and right. But uh, he went ahead with this look, and it, and it caught on very rapidly. But despite the success he had achieved in Britain, he was unable to break into the American market, and his singles started to become formulaic and repetitive. Another British artist was to develop a far more extreme image of the rock star as a glittery creature from another planet. <laughs> 